Blender and Unreal Engine are independent and wonderful tools for 3D content creation. Blender users have always looked for ways to take advantage of the beautiful performance and rendering capabilities that Unreal Engine offers. And today, we have a solution. The folks at Nuclear Friend have created and released the Blender file importer for Unreal Engine, which allows you to import your native Blender files directly into Unreal Engine and take full advantage of it. So how this one works is pretty simple as we're going to do a simple walkthrough about how you can get started with it and certain things you need to keep in mind, owing to the fact that this is available for Unreal Engine 4.26, 4.27 and also 5.0, it simply makes it available for almost everyone. So for you to get started with this, you need to go over to the marketplace where you can find it or you can pop the Unreal Engine launcher. Within the Unreal Engine launcher, you can search for the blend file importer and then install it. This would allow you to install this plugin on any of the versions of Unreal Engine that you have. And once you have it installed, you can go ahead and fire up that version of Unreal Engine. So we've already installed this in Unreal Engine 5. And to make this active, it's as simple as going over to edit, go over to plugin and then search for the word blend. Once you type the word blend, set it active and this will prompt you to restart your Unreal Engine. And once you restart Unreal Engine and get everything going, you can now import your own Blender files. Once you import your Blender files, you might have to retexture these things by yourself. In certain cases, if you're using a simple file that is working with a vertex color in Blender, you may not be able to replicate that directly in Unreal Engine. Currently, this supports working with Blender files that has textures mapped into them, which you may need to apply once you import it as these textures do not automatically apply. And one tiny tip is when you're importing your files, if you like them to come in as a combined mesh, you need to set that up. If you don't set that up within the import options, you may have to reset dress your entire scene in Unreal Engine one more time. And how you can fix this is super simple. Once you drag in a Blender file, you get the import options, which is basically the FBX import options. Go over to advanced and within the advanced section, you're going to notice that we have a tiny place called combined meshes. You need to make sure you have that checked and then you can import the entire model. This comes in as one mesh file, which you can drag and drop onto your viewport. Now within your viewport, you can proceed to start adding the textures that you want. For you to actually get the materials to work exactly how you want them to work, you need to drag the texture and apply the texture on a given model and once you do that automatically this creates a material which you can now proceed to update with the associated texture maps and this applies to all of the models that you have and it is also worth keeping in mind that in certain cases the normals may not come exactly how you want them to and this is also something that you need to calculate before you save your models in blender and import them into unreal engine so now that we have the meshes out of the way, let's talk about animation. So in this case, we do have an animated model, which we downloaded off Turbo Squid. I'm going to put a link in the description just in case you want to get this. And you can see that we have this animation running through. Now, this is a combination of different stuff going on here. So what we want to do is to see if this is also going to be available in Unreal Engine. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop it right here. By default, if you also want to import by right clicking, of course you can. So you can right click and go over to the section where you have import. And you can do that but we're just going to do the good old-fashioned drag and drop because that's pretty fast and this comes in when this loads up it's going to present us with a dialog box which we need to answer so this is opening up in a different screen let me bring it right here so within this dialog box we're going to click on this import animation make sure you have that turned on and you might also want to bring in the skeletal and the original mesh as well so once you have all of these things ready click on import all and this is going to go through and import the whole animation and this is quite interesting because at this point you can do your entire animation in blender and import them into unreal engine to get that quick and final render you can actually play with these things however you want you can drag them drop them within your viewport and i think we also have some more let's also so open this one up i think this is for the one where the character starts running we also have these other one let's see if okay this is the one where the character jumps down uh, you probably saw these other one in blender so if you're thinking about bringing in your animation yes this also supports animation and it is also pretty interesting to see that it's available the mesh also comes with it and it's just um something that i did notice that in some cases once you bring in the model you get to notice that you know it, it comes sort of pre-textured for animations it does come with the texture but it's uh, it's a little bit weird 
with normal textures that at certain times you don't get to see that. This is just one of those things. Next thing which we're going to talk about is bringing your geometry nodes. And the best possible tool which I would suggest is Alter Mesh. So we've covered Alter Mesh on the channel before. So just in case you like to get this, of course you can. So I think Alter Mesh does have a free version and also paid one. So yeah, you can you can get the free one. So if we just go over to this link, I'm going to put this link in the description just in case you want to try it. You can use this to bring in your geometry nodes into Unreal Engine and start doing some amazing things with it. There are tons of free things that you can get this week. This is a Blender asset pack that deals with planters, flower pots, and also vases. And Johnny has actually done something really nice where he has a huge set of free things that you can get. So if you're looking for free stuff, you might want to pay Johnny a visit where you can get some of these cool things. You can use them to set dress your entire scene and you can import them into Unreal Engine and start working with them. There is also this beautiful one from Blender add-ons. Previously known as Sophane, you can see some of the things that he has here. Lots of things are available for you to come through and grab for free. There is also a huge set of supply from the 3D Shaker guys. Also, there is this pretty nice set of things. What you get here are both 3D brushes and normal brushes that you can use for both grease pencil and on your viewport if you're trying to use curves to create some brush inking effect. This is made available by 3D Designer and it's just a whole lot of nice things that you can get with this. So just in case you need any of these things and even more stuff, I'm going to put the links in the description so you can do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this ones in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.